everything that just flashed before your eyes was created using an image reference or a video reference. Today, we're going to learn everything you need to know about PureRef. Download for free in the description below. With PureRef open, you can move the whole canvas by holding down right click and moving the canvas. You can also drag images directly from the web into your canvas without any hassles and also add batches of images at once. This will help to build up a reference library fast. Now that you have a couple of images on your canvas, you can resize the selected image from the center with Ctrl Alt left click and drag or use these ankles to scale. You can use Ctrl left click to rotate the image and by adding shifts into the mix, you can rotate it at 45 degree increments. If you have different images scattered all over your canvas, you can arrange them using the Ctrl P feature or basically right clicking images arrange and you can arrange them with any of these options did you know that you can take screenshots using windows plus print screen button on your keyboard and go to pure i use ctrl v to paste it directly there well now you do this feature was introduced in the last update where you can now play gifs you can toggle between each frames select the playback speed and display each frames of the gif inside of pure if you want to crop images in pure well, you can do that now by holding C and then dragging across the selected image. If you want to adjust the size of the crop area, you can use Ctrl Shift Alt C to do that and you can move it around. And if you want to reset the crop down to any of the images, you can just select the images or image and use Ctrl Shift C to reset it. If you want to flip any image you have on Pure F, you can use the alt shift left click and drag and flip the image to the right left top or bottom the new update comes with an upgrade to the notes feature and you can use ctrl n to activate it let's just type something here you can change the size of the text you can also change the font style now you can make it bold italic underline it you can change the color of the text background you can change the color of the text and so much customization has been added to it there's no point in using PureRef if when you click out of the canvas, it disappears. You can always have it on top using Ctrl Shift A or just use this pin icon to have it on top and when you're working on any software, it doesn't disappear. You can manipulate the canvas a little more by adjusting the opacity using Ctrl Shift and the plus button to increase the opacity and the minus button to reduce the opacity. You can zoom into a selected image really fast from wherever you are on the canvas by just using the spacebar. Very convenient. When moving an image across the canvas, you can hold shift while moving the image to lock it on the X or Y axis. PureRef has three themes. Using the Alt 3 button will give you a glass theme that you can see through the canvas. Alt 2 will give you the light theme. I don't know why anybody will be using that. Stop it. Get some help. Then Alt 1 for the dark mode, which is the default. You can group sets of images using the Ctrl G shortcuts and most customization to change the color of the background and also lock the group. This next feature is awesome. You can now draw on the canvas using Ctrl D to activate it. This will be helpful to take notes or draw attention to something in the image. You can change the color of the strokes, erase entire strokes, with the eraser tool, you have three different line styles to choose from and also three different thickness. You can alter the grayscale of the entire canvas using Ctrl OGG to toggle between them. If you need to know the color of a part of your image, you can now use a color picture tool by holding S and left clicking to get the colors. You can copy the color codes in any color system that you want. If you enjoyed this short video, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment on your most useful feature. You will want to watch this video for free add-ons and assets in Blender.